I'm Jack from Numskull Designs, and today I'll be giving you a closer look at our brand new liquor statue from Resident Evil. Starting with the base here, we have the tiled flooring from the Raccoon City Police Station, where we first encounter the liquor. The flooring is covered in blood splatters, with various cracks around the edges. We also feature this flashlight as seen in the corridor of the police station, right before the liquor emerges. Looking at the head, you can see just how detailed this statue is. On the top we have the large exposed brain, with the detail cut into the PVC of the statue for a textured look and feel. Moving down to the mouth, we first have the many teeth on both the top and bottom of the jaw. This leads to the standout of the statue being of course the large long tongue. It is textured with fleshy tones, complete with the small teeth extruding out of the end. Across the entirety of the body, we can see the flesh having been ripped off the liquor, leaving the muscle exposed and bloody. The flesh is slightly raised from the body, with the muscles themselves having grooves and scoring into the PVC. Looking at the back, we have further detail here with the exposed shoulder blades and spine. Again, these features are raised from the PVC, adding to the realism of the statue. Further detailing can be seen in the claws on both the hands and feet, with the long talons wrapped with patchy flesh. This liquor statue measures approximately 6.5 inches in height, 7 inches in width, and 11 inches in length. The statue weighs approximately 0.26 kilograms. This liquor statue joins our previously announced Tyrant statue, continuing our range of Resident Evil premium statues.